there are many uh, institutions introducing, uh, we, we use the term e, e tech in one form or the other in the way they do things. At the courts, we have an e-justice system. It's not frightening, and if it's frightening, you ask somebody to help you. But it is intended to minimize the human interface that can lead to and encourage corruption, because it is also a time-saving device for us. Um, already in some jurisdictions, in Singapore and uh, certain other countries, they are already having certain types of cases determined by artificial intelligence. Uh, for example, you jumped the red light. They fixed a camera inside the red light, which starts taking pictures as soon as the light turns red. So, if you were crossing on green, the, you, your picture does not have come. So if it has your picture, it means you were crossing on red. Is there really any need to come to court? They will send you, they, they will send you the printout with your picture and they will quote the fine. And if you know it's you, you can't say it's not your face. You're not Emanuela, this is not my face. You can't say that, it's your face. So you, 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 you either mobile money, the fine, or you, you, you swipe your, your, you go to your bank and transfer the, the amount. And it's gone. And the judge can spend that day doing more complicated and more complex cases and finishing uh, hearings. And, and they build into those systems the, uh, the stick. It's being that if you challenge it, and you lose, you pay triple the fund that you would have paid if you had simply uh, acknowledged. And if that is your, depending on how they set it, if that is your uh, maximum infraction, or you've exceeded, the, you know, maybe this is your fifth jumping of the red light, that one. There are also penalties, much, much higher penalties that can sometimes even end you in, in jail. That one will go before a judge. So that one is a more serious case. So we are considering that as well.